Hey everybody, Paul hey. Acevedo of Windows Central here. Tonight I'm joined on the mic by Tyler and Sugar Bubbles. Hello. Hello. We're going to play some Watch Dogs 2 for Xbox One. It's also available on PlayStation 4 and PC, and it comes from Ubisoft, who have kindly donated this copy for us to stream. Awesome. Yeah, confirm. Fancy, fancy little intro we got going here. Colorful. Yeah. This music isn't licensed, is it? Because if it did, it would get us muted. I don't like that. Al already more colors than the entirety of the original Watch really? Dogs. <laughs> yep, every little bit of color gathered in Watch Dogs 1 has already been eclipsed by the color in this game. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chris Guy says that our sister site, VR Heads, is going to start streaming pretty soon. Yeah, actually, Chris Guy, Russell Holly substituted for me once when I was out of town at... Where was I? At E3 or something. I don't know. But he substituted for me. That was fun. He played Killing Floor, too. Yeah, I think, I think it was E3 week. Yeah. Did you play the first Watch Dogs, Shugs? I did not, but I, that's another one I picked up on the Steam sale recently, so I will go back Neat. and play it. Played the entire first act, and then a little bit of the second act, and then I had had enough of it. Yeah, guys, tonight we are not giving away copies of the game. We're just giving out Xbox gift cards. I wasn't the one responsible for dealing with Ubisoft, uh, although not to... But point is, we didn't get any free copies of it. We would have liked to, but we didn't. So we're giving out Xbox gift cards. Next week, we are going to be streaming Warhammer Vermintide, and we will have free copies of that for all three platforms. So that's exciting. Awesome. Shugs, when you play this on PC, do you play with a controller? I actually played it on the PlayStation 4. Oh, okay, I didn't know you had a PS4. So I got to use my controller, which is... Very <laughs> necessary for me. <laughs> okay, you're not a mouse and keyboard type person? Not at all. Not at all. Hey, Zero, welcome to the stream. Good friend Zero, often a co host. Not lately. Yeah. Hey, Zero. We we're talking about <laughs> you. Yes, earlier. we were. <laughs> Are you playing on the PC oh, or Xbox? Xbox One, yeah. Okay, so you have a controller. Yeah, my nice. computer is it's a note a gaming notebook but it's going on four years now so like it can handle some games like this maybe but streaming at the same time is tough hey are you playing with that power a controller that you reviewed i'm not but that's a good question i do have that controller right oh somewhere around here there it is yeah guys today we reviewed this new controller power a fusion controller please read that review you know it makes me happy uh oh Somebody's throwing a grenade at me. Man, I'm doing a lot worse than the first time I played. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're showing off your controller, so that's... <laughs> it throws you right it. in the game. It throws this you right in. doesn't have a way to pause, does it? Start sure doesn't pause. No. Yeah, see, that's cool. No. <laughs> Is there a good way to get down from this building, or do you just jump down? I just think there's down. a ladder. Let's look. Oh, my God. There it is. Okay, yeah, I didn't see it the first time. I'm just running around and everybody's shooting at me with bullets. It's mean. Do you not even have a gun? You just have like a whip? Yeah, it, it seems like a yo-yo. <laughs> An Indiana Jones whip or something? I'm telling you, it's a yo-yo. Wow, it really is a yo-yo. Yeah, they're going trendy as hell. So this, they huh? can do some merchandising, you know, you can buy the actual yo-yo from Watch Dogs 2. Oh yeah. Think Geek, think Geek GameStop exclusive. 1999 yo-yo. <laughs> It is kind of neat how GameStop sells Think Geek things now, isn't it? I don't know. I always enjoy those things. Yeah, I like it. They have some goofy stuff. Some of the prices are kind of rough, but if you see things, once they start putting them on clearance and stuff, they're pretty good. Like, they have a cool-looking Triforce lamp that I liked, but it's $40, and so that's not happening for a lamp. Well, you know, if you were to buy it from Think Geek themselves, they often have pretty good coupons around the holidays. True. I haven't even checked their site. I've done enough holiday spending, uh, I think. Most years, I will put together an order, maybe just like a $50 order, but sometimes as high as 150 or so, just with presents for everybody, you know, just little knickknacks that I think my relatives and such will enjoy. Because they have a mm -hmm. nice variety of things. Yeah, they have a ton of stuff. Almost too much stuff. It's like <laughs> overwhelming when you just yes, want to browse. Be. Holy crap. Are you familiar with them, Shugs? I have never heard yeah, of them. It's thinkgeek.com, 
and they just sell a lot of fun toys and furniture and clothing for nerdy types, for geeks, as they say. All right, so Very let's cool. get down. Been spoiled by downloading games these days off of Steam, so I haven't been to a game store in uh, so long. I don't go to GameStop very often, but I was there recently trading in some controllers and a few physical Xbox One games I didn't want anymore. Um, so Good stuff. Here? Open. Okay, there we go. Does anyone else find it confusing that right trigger is what vaults and climbs and stuff? You're wasting your time. Or right R2 on PlayStation 4? You wind Sounds up using weird. like... Sounds weird He's not in. Yeah, every button on that controller you use, and it's it gets a little confusing after a while. So, so that's welcome, Ezio. He's Big Boss Kane, yo. Is that a problem? So the context for what's oh, happening, in case you couldn't around. tell, since we're talking all over everything, is that Time the him. player character here, Marcus Holloway, is auditioning to join Too DeadSec. Late. Is that right? He's in. Already? Yes. Cool. And so they've asked him to break in and like erase his criminal record from the system. I think right now in the story he doesn't even know they're watching oh. him yet. They're kind of uh, auditioning him oh. already, but he's going in there to uh, take care of something he wants to get oh, rid just of. Just on his own, he's doing it, but they also are interested. Right. In him. I see. Wow. Who is he? It's right. retro. The home domain awareness hacker? Oh man, Aiden Hack Pierce is the worst. Yes. I don't miss him at all. Yeah, Who is that? That's the main character oh, from the okay. first one. Yay. He like permanently had like a frog in his throat and would never clear his voice and just talk super gruff all the time. Wasn't he kind of dour? Oh man. Yeah, find the access. Oh man. Um, don't I have to... Okay, so what do I click in this? Yeah, this is... God. You'd think I hadn't slept a lot. I actually slept quite a lot. Okay, but I've just <laughs> hacked a security camera in the same room as this computer, and now I can hack the computer from the camera somehow, magically. And then I force it to give me the access <laughs> You mean that's not a real thing? <laughs> you can't, like, point a camera at a computer and hack it? No, I, I wish. I wonder how far in the future this is supposed to be. That's that's kind of why like I think it's more fun for this game to have a fun, easygoing attitude because some of the hacking is really silly, and it was in the first one too, but it took it so serious. Like, oh, well, let me just use this camera to you know do everything. Got to make it fun. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, just to, I mean it, the hacking kind of silly, so like make it more of a goofy, silly surrounding. So does this one seem very Assassin's Creed-like to you guys, or is it actually enough different this time? More different. Looks like you're in this Assassin's Creed, uh, the like, Aspergo area, the future present time area or something. Doesn't most of the movie happen in the present, the actual upcoming Assassin's Creed movie? I don't I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, I hope it will be good. But it seems like I heard that too much of it happens in the present, because obviously the stuff people care about is the stuff in the past. <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, I'm not sure. And he's got What's... We'd give him a I hope it's good. It's been a long time since it's been a good yeah, video really game movie. What's your position on that movie, Shugs? I want to see if he's smart, stubborn. I didn't even know they were making an Assassin's Creed oh, movie, goodness. so that's pretty cool. You know, wow, comes out next month, right? Pretty soon. Yeah, yeah starring Michael Fassbender. That's one series. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, That's one series I haven't played yet. Well, don't feel bad. I haven't played it either. Except for the phone game, which wasn't any good. <laughs> no. I did play a little bit of the phone game, actually. It was bad. I think it was like a port of the DS game, too. Um, I played 1, 2, and Brotherhood. So I've only played three of them. One is dreadful. Don't... For a while I was buying them, you know, like getting them when they were on sale or whatever for pretty cheap with plans to play them all, but it just never worked out, did it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still doing that. I got Syndicate from Target on Black Friday. I really want to play 4, because 4 looked like the most fun, what with the sailing. Ow. Yeah, I heard it's good. 
But Prince got it from Amazon for eight dollars. I would have rather got it from Amazon. I didn't know they had price matched it. Stupid with Amazon, it's too hard to keep track of their deals. First time I did this, I did not get cited until way later, so I'm doing a lot worse this time, guys. But go on. How do you feel about the stealth so far? Do you like it, or does it feel weird? It's okay-ish. I'm not a big stealth dude anyway, so like I don't know if stealth is good or bad in general, because I never played Metal Gear even. Metal Gear 1 is good. <laughs> Metal Gear As long as you don't go any further than that. Game you mean? No, sorry, Metal, Metal Gear Solid 1, sorry. I always forget that there were Metal Gear games ah, without the Who's who shooting me? They just keep running up and shooting me. Uh, do you heal automatically? Oh man. <laughs> I would think so. Just gonna take some time and you'll, you'll heal over time. Okay, do I have to rehack that thing? No, I think it's already hacked. That's cold, Dark Player. Real cold. <laughs> yeah, no. Did Adam already play the Metal Gear games? The Metal Gear Solid games on his stream? Um, I don't remember. You know, those games came out about, what, 10, 15 years ago, so he'll probably play them in 5 or 10 more years. So yeah, I mean, he's probably around to the first one, at least. I hope so. But I know he's a, tonight. he's a big Metal Gear Solid uh, fan. The last Metal Gear game I saw, he was riding a horse, and I was like, why is he riding a horse? Yeah, that's the newest <laughs> one. I actually kind of want to check that one out. I've heard it's a little bit different, you can do it like it's less stealthy, because I, I suck at stealth. I get so impatient with stealth, so... I mean, I almost actively dislike it when it's not simple. The... The new one... Uh, we're talking about 5, right? Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. 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 It, it looks fun to me. I understand it was really rushed, so like the final third of the game just playing isn't complete and it just kind of ends abruptly. Yeah. But that probably wouldn't bother you as much, Tyler, because you don't get into the story as much it's as everybody else. Yeah, I wouldn't care about that. I would skip yeah, it this... anyway. The Metal Gear <laughs> story is... The Metal Gear... I mean, the Metal Gear story... For someone who's not into story in the first place, the Metal Gear story is not worth I think attention. even if you are into story, the Metal Gear story is hard to tolerate because it's like uh, written by a guy who thinks he's a lot smarter than he really is, sort of, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm so glad Adam's not on this stream. <laughs> That's true. He'd be <laughs> turning red. I get to I get to talk about how bad the story is in Metal Gear Solid 2 and how much it interrupts the gameplay. And he doesn't even get a chance to defend the I game. I wish somebody play like the first hour of Metal Gear Solid Five though, and it started out really intriguingly. So I, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing more of that. I think that's usually how they start out, until they get they're like, oh, we it's been forty five minutes, we have to throw in a new nonsensical twist. Uh, gotta have those twists. He's in the yeah. Nobody's got Just that ask far. M Night Shyamalan like Ding Dong. Claim director. Right. <laughs> the Hideo Kojima of Hollywood. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Skype me so I can yell. See, now Adam wants to <laughs> oh, get on stream. Yeah. Well, we would ask you sometimes, Adam, if the answer wasn't always no. Alright, let's see. What have I got to do here? Left bumper, complete the network bypass to unlock. So I have to click in the right stick. And um, this is like a little puzzle, isn't it? Yeah, as so you kind of like match up the lines and connect the nodes, I believe. Child's play. Is that actually gonna work, though? <laughs> yep. Okay. Now that's... Nice. Oh, thanks. When I was doing this this morning, it took me, oh, 30 tries? No, something like that, though. A little while. Oh, hi, no time for games. Good to see you. Hey, no time. No time for games assisted me at QuakeCon in Dallas earlier this year. That was fun. Lucky One Excel, welcome. What the fuck? Welcome. Why I've seen your name yet today. Lucky One Excel, that's fun. No time. This game is very fun. It's very fun. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm excited to play did it. Did you play the first game? No rails. I did not. So yeah, I'm having the same experience that Sugar Bubbles had when she played because she didn't play the first one either. Tyler did play the first one, and yet somehow hasn't picked up the second. Fuck. Yeah, but I wouldn't... I, I mean, I didn't like the but first one. But everyone says this one's so much better, and you know that. Or I know, I could just but... Leave. Why would I buy it at launch? 
Because the reviews weren't out yet at that time, is that what you're saying? Well, that's part of it, but I don't... I mean, I mostly just buy games with that Best Buy gift card thing. If they don't have that, I wait on them. Because, gotcha. I mean, I've played enough I've played enough new releases for October and November to fill up my palette. And I'm getting Final Fantasy on Tuesday. Sweet! Now, what got you interested in Final Fantasy? Yeah. You're not really a JRPG guy. Um, a mix of the $10 gift card that Best Buy is giving away with it. And the fact that it's not turn-based, but it's more action. Yeah. I also understand that you're really into the metro sexual character designs. Oh yeah, <laughs> love it. In fact, just the other day when the commercial was on, I'm like, I was with my brother. I'm like, hey, pay attention to this commercial. Look how good the character designs are on all these characters. How exciting I'm they sure are. Many Americans have said exactly that. Let's see, left bumper. So we push X to turn on the shield thing, and then I attract him over to it with B. And this is going to knock out the guard. And this is as far as I actually got earlier, so from here on out, it's all new. Uh, what am I trying to do? Oh, crap. They're saying track him down. He'll go over there. There you go. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> I don't even... Okay, jump down there. That stuff gets really fun with, like, setting booby traps later on. I would like to see that. Um, why did I blow that box up? Was I supposed to do that? Yeah, because it, it like sets a booby trap, and then the well that one. I messed um... up tonight. I don't know. If... No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Set it off on yourself. <laughs> that's just that's just practice. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I can open the door? All okay, right, we'll open the door. How is Flash still around? What are you talking about, Brown Meister? Are you complaining about the show, The Flash? Don't be like that, Brown Meister. Okay. The season's not that bad. I thought he was just talking about the the, the yolk player, but I don't know. It looks like he was talking about. Maybe he's TV. talking about Flash Thompson, the bully from the Spider-Man movies. Possibly. Seems likely. Or maybe. Um, I don't even know where I'm actually supposed to be going. Wait, isn't isn't Flash Gordon a thing? Used to be. Um, what is that? Uh, what was it's that? It's like a movie that was made to be like old serial movies from the 50s or 40s or whatever. I, I'm going the wrong way. Man. You, you want to go... You're escaping, so you just want to get out of there. Like, go towards that yellow uh, arrow. No detective mode? Yeah, you can click in the right stick, but it makes everything look staticky and lame. I don't like that stuff. But you do have to do it. Yeah, man, it distorts the screen yeah. a lot. Um, is this going to help me? And there's cameras everywhere, you can hack them, but like, I would think you would want to turn off the cameras so the bad guys couldn't see you, but that's not how it works, is it? Not really, yeah, that would make sense too, of, of like, hacking them to turn them off and going in blind, but they don't really add that part into the game. That's alright. Still trying to get down farther. <laughs> we can do this. So, Sugar Bubbles, I understand you are a streamer. How long have you been doing that? Um... Probably about maybe eight months regularly. Before then, just every now and again. So. How often do you stream? Um, right uh, Monday through Friday. I try to stick to a normal schedule. So wow. I try to go five days a week if I can. Maybe another extra day. You know, bonus. Oh, crap. Dedication. You just got yo-yo fool. <laughs> And that yo-yo gets fun, especially, like, <laughs> random civilians later on in the streets. Yeah, uh, there's guys everywhere. That'd be great if you, like, never got a gun and you could only use the yo-yo to the entire <laughs> No, that would be horrible. <laughs> that would be horrible. It's a really nice yo-yo. Uh, <laughs> Paul, have you seen the 1990s version of Flash TV show? Yes, I have. I have the DVD set. I got it for, like, I don't know, 6 or 11 bucks on Buy.com one time. Decker player is wondering what you think of it. Um, you know, it's a product of its time. It has good points and bad points. It's the atmosphere of that show is trying to be like 1989 Batman. You know, Tim Burton's Batman. So like the city, it's all phony looking instead of trying to look like a real city, that kind of thing. Nowadays, I don't like that element so much. But John Wesley Shipp, the actor who played the Flash, he was really good, and you know, he's in the new show as well. 
So that's my opinion. And I know you guys are like, what is he even <laughs> talking about? Yeah. I'll leave, I'll leave the comic <laughs> stuff to you. You watch any superhero stuff, Shugs? Um, I th the Marvel shows on Netflix are my favorite right now, so Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Really enjoy Ooh. those. So you did like Luke Cage? That's good. Let's see. I did. It was as good as Jessica Jones, though. <laughs> I'm in kind of a minority, because I really like the book of Jessica Jones, and I really didn't like some of the things they changed about the show. But, like, I don't hate the show, you know, I just, I was disappointed in some things about it. Like how they caught and lost the bad guy a total of four times in a 13-episode <laughs> show. Right. <laughs> just to drag that, it out. Yes. Well, that was you who sent me that article, I think, maybe. Was it you, Paul, who sent me about, like, artificially extending season, extending seasons with, like, happenstance occurrences and Yeah, like, like, the that? people who make the Marvel shows, although I like the Marvel shows, the people who make them don't seem to really understand how to write episodic TV. So they they have, like, a story they want to tell, and then they can't think of real good story stuff to add to that. So they just have, like, the same wheels spinning over and over to stretch it to the end of the 13-episode season. Ah, I don't want to go on and on about that. Dude, I just got bagged. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities <laughs> with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with the video is behind. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Is it very behind? Lines of code, just slightly, right? No, no, no. Just, just, like just barely. Yeah, just yeah. barely. We just tried to correct the sound lag that we were experiencing in previous streams, so I hope at least the sound is properly synced up now. Hopefully, oh, Zio only knows this by face. I felt like it was good on your street by stream. Yeah. Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points. Mapping and recording. Yeah, my my older capture card is better at syncing up than my newer capture card. So which one do go you figure. use? Who else is listening? <laughs> I use my, um, I have like the Aver Media one I'm using right now, but I have a newer one that's an Elgato, but the Elgato has lag. Dang. And do you know which Elgato it is specifically or no? The HD 60? Not, not the 60S, just the regular 60? Just the regular 60. I think I got it right before the new one came out, which is why I hate electronics. Right? Yeah, that's the same one I have though, but I, I use a Razer Ripsaw for actual streams. Which is, yeah, it's USB 3, like the, you know, like the newest Elgato and stuff, so it does pretty well. Health providers determine if your cancer Paul will is play that Search toy. Oh, what toy am I to playing with, Ezio? Tyler doesn't like scale. to be referred to as a toy. You are now less valuable than the data <laughs> you produce. Also stream. This is the so I have reality. the I have the rig Going regular is no longer Elgato option. game capture, so the HD. So there's two versions after rising. that one now. HD, HD60, so so then then HD60s. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna try and sell mine. Um, so I guess I better sell it now before any more versions come out and make it any more yeah. obsolete. Because Tyler, for those who don't know, prefers to just stream through the PlayStation 4 streaming app. Yeah, uh, I'm lazy. Yeah, and uh, if you catch a stream of Tyler's with a camera on, it's like Christmas. Am I in? You know, it's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the camera and Royal Bob Welcome said it wasn't <laughs> worth it. My face was just not good enough to put That's on the cold, screen. That's cold, Royal Bob. Yeah, no, the mean guy. I'm Satara. This sweetheart. So we're meeting Josh, these characters. What can you tell sauce. us about these characters, Shigs? What do you think of them? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house. Very house. cool, especially the guy with the mask. Thanks. Like he's my favorite. Um, when you when you kind of like log into him later or like look at his devices, it it, it says all kinds of stuff that you probably don't want to show wow. on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's very funny. Does he actually talk out loud or just with eggs. the symbols on his eyes? Took y'all long enough. He talks, but he leaves that mask on. Like as far as I know, the uh -huh. entire game. I think his name's Wrench. I wonder if he's scarred. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of Seeing Icky is insulting my rocking chair from when I stream with a camera. <laughs> Heaven forbid someone sits in a chair, a, a nice comfortable chair, when they play video games. <laughs> so. A rocking chair An sounds old lady awesome. rocking chair? Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not like a rocking chair. It's like a... Just a lady <laughs> He's got a shotgun sitting chair. next to it and everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> New chair and a green screen, too. Nice, Chris. Did you make your own green screen, Shugs? 
they can reject your fucking application. I purchased one off of Amazon. It's like a double sided one, so it's got a blue uh, and green side to it. I will have to ask you the name of it later because I'm growing weary of my green screen. It's really big. Okay. Yeah, this one's like a pop up one, so the good part about it is if you have company coming over, you can fold it up and put it in the closet. Yeah, that would be so much better. Just. I just followed a guide online to build your own, you know, but it's like, I followed the guy to the letter, so it's like six feet tall. I should have adjusted the measurements or something. <laughs> That's the point, Kenza, that they don't look like hackers, because if they look like hackers, they get arrested for being hey, hackers. there you go. But what does a hacker look like? Um, yeah. Be a young teenager who, I don't know, scowls a lot, needs a haircut, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to spoil Christmas for millions of Xbox and PlayStation users. Yeah, I wouldn't even call them hackers. They're wannabes. They did that BDOS yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, we got a lot of stories. Is this really set in San Francisco, or is it like yep. set in San... Fran Dino, but it's just a rip off of San Francisco. Yeah, it's got SF and Oakland. It's really San Fran. Okay, that's cool. I spent two and a half weeks in Oakland once. That was a lot of fun. Do you remember that, Tyler? It's when I was waiting for that crazy taxi event that Sega put on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Weren't you with some friends or something? Um, My friend Marina, who's a PR lady, was there, but like... I was supposed to stay with her, but her boyfriend got hey, jealous, what? which is funny, because she's so out of my league as to be ridiculous, you know? Fuck you, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I ended up having to stay at a hotel. But I, I made a lot of PR friends, because one PR is who put on that event, and so I'm sure that helped me a lot with them. And you know, one PR, they hook us up all the time, they're great. Yeah, when I work with them, they were nice. real cool. Yeah, Shugs, do you have to, do you buy all your own games, or do you get some donated? I get a couple donated, um, but mostly buy them. I usually try to put stuff on my Steam wish list, and then I'll wait for a sale. So Black Friday, I picked up seven games for like forty dollars type Not thing. What did you buy for Black Friday, Tyler? Where's my phone? I bought um, one of those new Nintendo 3DSs with the Mario's on them. Um, I don't know why, because I have a 3DS with Zelda on it, so uh, I don't know. So I have two 3DSs now, and then I bought a couple of couple of games. I got Syndicate and Final Fantasy X, and those Atari Classics games. And then I got some DualShock controllers and some DVDs. How and stuff are the Atari me. Classics games? Have you tried them yet? I got them shipped, so oh, I should be getting them. Very mostly. interested in impressions of those. Yeah, I haven't heard a whole lot, which is kind of kept me interested, you know. But, uh, it's like, yeah, let's see how I mean, Atari 2600 games, most of them don't stand the test of time, just like NES games, but worse. But if the package right. is made well enough, you know, there's ways to make it fun to even play old games like that that you might not ordinarily care about, so that's, I really want to see how it turned out. Oh, uh, we got some licensed music, yeah, that's not good. You know Everybody talk real loud. Uh, yeah. Hello, Hello yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Dang it. Is there any way to turn that off? I guess I was um, Yes, because you can go into a cell phone and then you can. There's a music uh, so app. The app. Well, you don't have, you don't have right. the app yet. You'll get it. Well, game options. Um, oh, I just got some Uplay points for something. All your essential apps. Okay, yeah, nice. we have to get this stupid song off. I didn't know I had licensed music. Um, I'm looking at Noodle Maps. That's cute. Media player. Or, but, it's the it's the pink one. The go back up. Yeah, that media okay, player. Yeah. Install. Hold. All right. Let's do that. Hey, Travis McAndrew, welcome to the stream. Okay, is it now installed? So what do I do to use it? I have to back out of the shop, probably. Uh, yeah. just. Okay. Yep, go back out to your phone and select the app. Um, classical probably wouldn't be licensed. Uh, I clicked on it and the music didn't change. Ah, interesting. Oh, that might be storyline music uh, then or something that plays for a while. Lame. 
All right, well, let's just cross <laughs> our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> or game settings. We'd probably go game settings and just turn the music volume off. But now I got this cool classical music playing. So, <laughs> okay. it, it, it yeah, eventually, after that dumb song ended. Okay. So what am I trying to do oh, now, nice. since I've obviously missed everything? Uh, you gotta go buy some new shorts, those <laughs> shorts are Good very point. <laughs> I'm taking in the sun, Tyler. Um, I see that. So I'm walking around. Lots of metrosexual clothes in this Ooh, game, too. So I heard I you guess like that. that. Well, uh, Tyler. I got does. nothing wrong with it. I just think, yeah, I just think the designs on Final Fantasy are so bad. Yeah. Have you seen the Cone view? Seen what? Conan O'Brien's review of uh, Final Fantasy. He I didn't it. watch it. He was pretty negative <laughs> about it, actually. <laughs> Did he really not like it, or was it just his shtick, though? You never can tell. At least I can't. Right. I mean, I definitely wouldn't take his like review as a real review, but like he definitely was saying things like, I wasted what a waste of time. Why would we do that or something? I don't know. Just kind of. He like, didn't get it. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't understand yeah. what type of game Especially it was. Especially since, since almost certainly Square Enix had to pay to get it on there in the first place. Okay, I can. I am gonna go ahead and turn it off because Adrian says when I get in a car it'll come on. So, audio and language. Uh, music. There we go. Off. Boom. Sorry, everybody. No music. You want me to start singing? <laughs> well. I'm not drunk enough yet, Tyler. Let's see. As long as it's not a light. <laughs> nice Chris. So if anytime you get lost in the story, the the top left has like what you're supposed to Got do it. next. So I'm actually supposed to be installing junk on my phone. Sorry, whoever's car that was. If this is what. Sa if this is what San Francisco looks like. Why would anyone ever live in Chicago over San Francisco? Oh great. Like the Chicago is so boring. The city of Chicago? First game, oh, okay. Watch Dogs 1, is, is up in Chicago. It's just so, like, boring and lifeless and colorless and... Uh. Okay, the real Chicago is nice and dangerous. True. <laughs> it's not boring to me. App Shop. All this phone interaction, it's weird. Uh, noodle Maps. <laughs> hey, hey, I want Paul's Dreamcast. <laughs> oh, Captain Johnny Walker, how nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm supposed to give up my Dreamcast, even though it keeps me warm at night. So, I'm sure I'm sure Adam would part with his. You yeah, can ask this, Adam if he's Adam doesn't to really like old game systems, so he won't mind. Yeah. Okay, buy new pants at a clothing shop, and uh, I see like a. <laughs> so I need to. He called it. Woo. Um. Boy, stop getting confused, Paul. Okay, push start to bring out my phone, right? And then I want to look at the map, noodle maps, and I want to find a clothing store, right? Presumably. Yes. Uh, nope, that's... Wait, actually, what is that? I can't even tell what it is. Bar. Coffee shop. Is, is buy new pants really yes. your mission? And is there not a close Man. buy clothing store because I don't see one anywhere near me. Do you remember this, Shugs? Okay, you can you can use the fast travel. So the one that's kind of far away, just click on it, and there will be a there will be a fast travel oh, I button. I see coffee shop, auto elite, sailboat shop, yacht club kiosk, torque rat bike shop. That's clothing. Oh, it is. Okay, all right. That was my problem. I read rat bike, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like clothing. <laughs> It's like a motorcycle shop. I think I got him an outfit from there with like a, it was like a shirtless leather vest. Sweet. So sun, <laughs> it's totally sons of anarchy. Sweet. Uh. <laughs> yes, you were right about that, Darth Apache. There's a guy loitering. I probably don't want to just run in and pick a fight, do I? So how do I just go buy something? I go into the fitting room? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and I think I already have at least one free outfit from Uplay, but... Money does not appear to be very tight right now. I've got 25000 That's also from Uplay, I bet. Let's see, access the store. Private Eye. What does that do? Private Eye Pack included in Ultimate Pack, and it's free. And it looks like it actually has to download something. 
to close. Yeah, so why do it as free DLC and not have it just be a built-in thing to the game? Who knows? Because mm. it's under the premium list. Get. I always like how it says get instead of purchase. Ah. The way you said it, I thought you were saying G-I-T, like the British word. Bottoms. Ah. Uh. Start with the top. Yeah, that thing's downloaded. No, we're not going to launch it, though. Bags. Oh, he's digging that jacket. <laughs> Gotta have a static <laughs> laptop bag. Do I want to wear a mask? Of course I do. Footwear. It looks like there's... Dynamic laptop bag. Am I picking things that are already in my wardrobe? Because otherwise the store does not have a good selection of clothes. I think you yeah, are, it must be. yeah. Well... I think you're under wardrobe, and then the next one's shop. All right. Oh yeah, push RB. Yeah, I'm so mentally clumsy tonight. Forgive me, everybody. I'm sure. I know you're new to video games. Yeah. I'll get good at them someday. If you look at the controller, it looks like it has shoulders. Where there's well, there's buttons on those shoulders that you can what? press. No wonder I haven't been able to climb or interact Ooh, with a, objects yet. Cool. The cross rocket speed demon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it. And what about bottoms? Yes. Do you have anything? I need something a little bit wacky. I think I would even pay $1,100 for that jacket <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Road Rashers Grindcore. I wanted some purely comedic clothing, and there isn't a whole lot of that, but that's okay. Oh, achievement, though. Now I can get a different hat. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go with the Brain Bucket. USA Bandana is pretty cool. Oh, fine. Marka! Um, darker player, I do not know what you mean. Twitch has a lot of... I mean, there's a lot of things that Twitch has a lot of. And I'm going to buy these $500 glasses. Now, yeah? Speaking of that, on the Twitch side, too, I think if you have uh, the Twitch Prime, there's a download for Watch Dogs 2 that includes more gear. Yeah, there I thought is. that was only for the PC version. Is it for consoles? I yeah, think it's can... only for the PC. No, you actually get a code in Uplay and you can, and the you can get the... Act, then you use that to get a code for consoles oh, if you want it. That. Oh, that's Great. awesome! The games that have been free are PC only, and that that goes through hey, some like Twitch launcher. Um, but one. the actual Watch Dogs DLC is available on consoles. Right, Very cool. To reach the dead sec hack space, and which car are we gonna steal? This truck here? Or I guess I should take a bike since I'm doing a biker thing. No, yeah, take a bike. <laughs> I just hope they handle well. I like how you walk around with your gun out. <laughs> the bike is scenic. It's not, even, it's not even like concealed carry or open carry. It's like literally <laughs> in your hand. I, better, I don't care, carry. <laughs> I'd better actually find it on the map though, huh? Because otherwise... Dang it. Show me the... Oh, texting and driving. Someone give him a ticket. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna wreck. He's I don't gonna recommend wreck. doing it in real life. One of my friends the other day, he was in a chat room and he was doing it from his phone while driving and I'm like, dude, don't do that. Just wait till you get there. He said it was okay. No, why am I clicking on the wrong thing? Okay, noodle maps. Um, so the skull thing is where I'm going? I wish it's, I wish it's noodle, N-O-O-D-L-E. I think that'd be better than... To me, it looks like it says metal. It makes me think of nudity. Yeah, I mean, yeah. usually um, I'm in favor of that, but I don't think it's the intention. Although, there, you saw the stories about Watch Dogs 2, right? Right at launch? About the nudity that was found oh, within yeah. the game? Yeah, do you have any of Sugar? Have you heard of that stuff? I didn't well, hear. Well, you see, this dude blew up a female character <laughs> model. Like, he said, in an explosive device, and it, it killed a female passerby. And it turns out that her model okay. was not wearing underwear, and had she had <laughs> realistically modeled crotch or textured crotch, which and yeah, oh so supposedly God. Ubisoft either patched or is patching that out of the game. But it's yeah, they said they're gonna patch it out. Yeah, that just makes me really. Run around and blow up a bunch of people today, see if it happens. <laughs> yeah, it's the only way to know for sure. Yeah. You definitely look for it. I mean, there's actually, like, I've heard a couple, like, nudist colonies or nudist areas you can find as well. I'm gonna help you out, Paul. You, that's yeah, not where you want to go. So I'm gonna hack this thing? <laughs> you want to know, um, that's, that's oh. a separate, like, an extra thing in the world, like, side oh. mission stuff. So don't do it? 
You want to go towards the you want to go towards the orange. Um, I don't think you can do it yet because you don't have uh, some of the items you need to get to the Just spot. Just say it. I'm not lead enough yet. All right. Um, so orange, you say. There's cool gear he gets. He gets so cool do you think gear. Do you think it's dumb that they're patching it out, Paul? Yes. I well, you know, I mean, like, I don't want to talk about it at length, but it's funny how people are so much are so cool with violence and gore and decapitations and stuff. <laughs> But God forbid a female model actually look what females actually look like, you know? Like, it, it's silly. Let's see. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, literally the story <laughs> is that, that he blew up innocent people. And, uh, no, no problem with that, but uh, heaven forbid one of the innocent models <laughs> had a lifelike yeah. uh, body. Yeah, no, you just... That's a very good point. Here in the U.S., for some, we have some long... Uh, we have these puritanical values, and in Europe they're much cooler with nudity and stuff. They're much more progressive in that regard. So, but I bet if they patch it out of ours, then they patch it out of everybody's. Yeah, they will. I wonder if they're scared about getting it re-rated by the ESRB. Because didn't that happen to Grand Theft Auto? San Andreas for a while. It did, but that's because there was a sex scene that they hadn't reported. So I wonder if they simply reported that the game had nudity, is that good enough? Yeah, but who knows with the ESRB. It would, really it would just depend on yeah. news reports and stuff, like how offended people were acting, I bet. Earlier I rammed a guy on his motorcycle and the guy did not go flying off at all, which is pretty funny. I had a glitch uh -huh. like that too, where I got in the car and I I hacked the car, I hijacked the car, and then the the character just disappeared. He just he didn't get out. He just oh, wow. disappeared. He just went. <laughs> dust. Cool, that guy know. just flew off. So yeah, at least it was only a bug or whatever. That's good. Oh yeah, he went flying real good. This cool drive part looks though. Cool. What was that? Um, the random conversations in the game, so if you walk around and just like listen to people, uh, the civilians in the city, they're, they're, they have some ridiculous conversations where one was, uh, they were talking about not pre-ordering games anymore and how they got ripped off. <laughs> and I thought that was funny that the game developers put that in there. That is pretty clever. Yeah, somebody else, I read a different transcription of a conversation. I can't remember what it was, but it was also very funny, so that's neat. Something that's like Rockstar is good about having NPC jokes and stuff. But it's not too common in other games, is it? Just ambient um, passing by type stuff. Yeah, not not a ton. Not Joe Belfiore wants you to notice at oh, all. Hey, not Joe Belfiore. Not Joe. Is that how you say his name? I don't even know how to say it. He's a Microsoft guy, Joe Belfiore. I just call him the Belf in my head. Yeah, you don't have to say it's a derogatory. It's not that bad being a Microsoft guy. Um, well, I don't know. Look how Windows Phone is doing. No, just kidding. Now, the, the Microsoft guy that I really didn't like, obviously, would be the one who went on to... What, what was it? Facebook or something? No. Um, you know, the guy who screwed up the Xbox uh, One Zynga? launch. Zynga. Zynga, yeah. 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 Um... Yeah, now I can't, because you can't think of it. Yeah, no, I, nor I can't. I normally know it. I'm thinking of a different... <laughs> we always talk. We always talk yeah, about him, too. Yeah, Don Matrick, that's it. Ah. Don Matrick. Yeah, yeah he's responsible it. for a lot of the bad decisions that made the Xbox One launch in the number two spot instead of the number one spot, like it could have been otherwise. Oops. Yes. But thankfully... Don Matrick. Yeah, thankfully he resigned, air quotes, like right around the Xbox <laughs> launch or right before it was it you know so like since then things have been a lot better a little bit after okay. I think it was after maybe it was before it was so bad they launched that so bad yeah and just the oh man so what's that some screen screen tearing on the stream does it look alright on um, your system there is some tearing yep. the PlayStation 4 version is enhanced for the Pro I think although I don't know how much it's enhanced yeah, Ubisoft's been real good about uh, getting those pro enhancements out there. So that's another cool thing. Like that alley you're on is a landmark, and if you take a picture 
um, with your camera in the alley, you get extra points to like level oh, up also. Okay. How do I know it's a landmark? Because it has that little symbol on it? No, there's a little hand symbol. That's an item. I think that's an item too. Um, mm -hmm. But it's under all these boxes and stuff. How would I even get it? There's can some get... stuff in the game you can't get till later when you can hack different oh. things. Like that uh, machine next oh, yeah, to it. Oh yeah, to hack the forklift. Okay. Whatever yeah, the heck so that how, is. how are you able to tell that it's a landmark? I think I think it shows up on the map as one, or you oh there's a there's an app for it. So there's an app that you have on your phone, and then that'll pull up all the landmarks okay. for you. I just remember that alley because it's really cool. So if you like pull your camera out and take a picture now, then you'll get like points for taking it in that landmark okay. area. So let's try that. Nice camera. Uh, it's <laughs> so it's like it's like Pokemon Snap. <laughs> yes, it's just like that. The picture you take is automatically a selfie. Oh, yeah. it's a it's selfie. It's amusing. That's funny. Um, yeah, that's clever. I wonder if it's meant to be tongue in cheek or meant to be exactly how it would I'm be sure anyway. I'm sure there's a humorous element to that. Um, I didn't seem to get anything yet, so maybe I have to get the app first. Do you think? Are Dreamcats really that hard to find? Aren't they like 35 bucks on Amazon used? 40 bucks. And, and I mean, that doesn't even lead to the bigger question of why would anyone want a Dreamcast? Well, it has a lot of great games that have never been re-released on anything else. Director's Cut. That's interesting. Sure. It does. Sure. Trust me. There was this one called Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, I just got some kind of achievement. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that one. No. Um, Power Stone. But that one's on No, it systems. is, yes. No, like, I could... There's a game of The Ring, you know, like the movies The Ring. The only game ever made of it mm -hmm. that I know of was released on the Dreamcast, and it was before the movies came out over here in America, so nobody even got the connection, you know what I mean? So that was kind of a shame. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, really interesting game, too. It's interesting. Sonic Adventure 2. Shugs, do you have any idea what that app is called? Oh, it's... Scout. Scout. Scout X. So it's... Scout oh. X, right to I your right. It. Yeah, I see it right there. Uh, See yellow X. All right, zoom in. Objective. Um, maybe I'm just not able to. I don't know. Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm getting confused here. No problem. I, I maybe have to do the first mission or something, and it might be kind of funky until. That is a possibility. So, what's the best way to get into this place? Is it just? Is there an alleyway or something? There'll be like a doorway leads in there, so you can go to the main street, and you'll be able to walk into the front of the building. Kind of looks like a bookstore. Oh, these graffiti areas are cool. There you go. Oh, is it the one I was just looking at? Oh, yep, Very that's it. The one that had the open sign. Oh yeah, there's lots of people hanging out here. And a bunch of board games. Contrite, that's really funny. Battle script. I would play Contrite. <laughs> Instead of sorry. I get it. I get Not Joe says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why is everyone asking for my Dreamcast? Are these guys both Johnny Walker, or has he got somebody else in on it? I do not know. Dreamcast is not for sale or giveaway. Hey, that finger is flipping you off. Edgy. He said for the kids too. He said for the you know kids. It, <laughs> you know what it's called when you give somebody both <laughs> middle fingers? It's called the double oh, deuce. Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and so at least okay. Abe didn't do that. <laughs> it's a reference to something. But, uh, yeah. Okay. It's not a joke in and of itself, Tyler. I was just pointing it out. We need bots, and a lot of them handle the data CTOS is processing. Story part here. How nice. We spent all night modifying our app so you can. I don't know about the scrolls here. The app, and you can use their processing power it's like, you don't like it. Sticking out of the side of her head. I don't know. It's like the Napoleon Dynamite stuff. Purple, I approve okay, of. It's the the, right yeah, but I don't know. It doesn't look right to me. And yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, blame for exposure and laughs to get people to download. Like she's a, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of a Twi'lek from Star don't Wars, worry. except Stop only with fun. one of the things. <laughs> Nerd. <sighs> Fine. Marcus, <laughs> check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Why is the voice echoing? Oh, is it because he's wearing... Is that Wrench talking? I bet it is Wrench. Behold, our very own yeah, so his voice... So, like, it's modulated or synthesized or something. 
and we encourage everyone to share their work, yep. their research, Oh, they're hip, Mace. Okay. You, be, you better so make sure you're hip to play this game. <laughs> but Mace, they also have a sense of humor about it, you know? Like, what, so it's like a... Hey, Flo, Matt. Kind of Are you saying you're leaving yeah. for sushi? Okay. Because we'll see you later. Enjoy the sushi, man. I haven't had sushi in about two months, maybe? I don't know. I could go for some... I had it for my yeah, birthday. congratulations on that. So you turned the uh, big 2-4, huh? Right, 24 years <laughs> young. Congratulations on that. What did you receive as Thank gifts? You. Um... I got. That's Don't a good be embarrassed. Question. Most, well, mostly I just got cash, which isn't very yeah. exciting. An Amazon gift card, which isn't very exciting. So well, I got a a Miami Dolphins like fun. oversized yeah, bottle cap, so it's like I mean it looks like the size of a clock yeah, or right. something, but it's kind of like a cool nice little talk, sports design thing that I put up in my sports room. You're too cheap and... to buy the whole bottle. Yeah, just the cap. And that's really about it. Not too, too much. I had a bunch of sushi. That was nice. Sushi is nice. Press O. I'm supposed to be opening my phone. All right, fine. Select the research app, then press A. Research, where are you at? There we go. It's dot slash research. I don't know why. Select a skill, then hold A to unlock it. Vehicle hacking, security bypass. Is that important, Shugs? Bypassing the vehicle's security? <laughs> with the skill tree, they leave it up to you of how you want to progress with it. I mean, eventually you'll need certain skills to progress, but um, I think I went with some of the social... There's like a social... Um, um, yes, there is. Social engineering. Hack one. Yeah, but um, I think the botnets is a good one. Marksmanship is good for shooting. The city disruptions one is good for getting away from cops and, and chases. <laughs> Robot um, exploit. Create a distraction on robots by pressing left bumper. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know what to go with first, huh? Just whatever you feel. It is, yeah, and th there's always a couple different ways around the mission, so if you don't have something at that point in time, there's always another way to, to go about it, so you don't have to stress about too much. Locked by previous node. Okay, I, I went with marksmanship just to help me out in combat. I'm no good at that combat stuff. Ready to use. Okay, oh, I need more points to do other stuff. So now that it's ready to use, that's it, right? It's done? Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you, you still got, I think, three more points you can spend on um, other oh, upgrades. Oh, something cheaper? Okay, well, we'll look. City disruption, you said... Auto takedown increases dead sec followers or... Wait, no. Trigger gates and steam pipes when enemy vehicles pass nearby. That's interesting. Okay, that's good enough for now. One point available, we'll just save it. Awesome. Talk to Wrench. I'll go back and talk to Wrench, who I already talked to. Well, sure, Brian. How do you think they move their steam around without pipes? Of course they have steam pipes. That's a very silly question. Behold! The wonders of technology. That mask and stuff would be would eventually get pretty uncomfortable to keep on your face, you know. <laughs> all day long. Maybe like, he has like, a whole yep. breathing like that. <laughs> That's one thing, you know, like superhero movies, they take their masks off a lot more than they do in the comics. And I think the primary reason for that is just because they're paying the actors, so they want the actor's face on screen. But it is also a fair point that masks would not be comfortable to wear for long periods of time. No, they're not comfortable to wear at all. Even on Halloween, like, I never made it all night with a mask on as a you. kid. <laughs> Stun gun, is that what I'm 3D printing? Okay. Yes. There's a, a unicorn um, with the rainbows coming out of it over there, too. Um, so I don't really... Interact with it, buy and equip weapons. Okay, but it won't let me move the cursor. I think you have to pick the slot, and then... Oh, it's not letting yeah, you move I, around, I don't huh? Understand. And here, like here I can't move it, so I have to pick the stun gun. And then I cannot move any other direction, so I push A to equip. Now what? I would just uh, back out and then see if that counted it as 
making it. Yeah, it's not acting like it. Cause that's kind of weird. Are we that's experiencing weird. a glitch? Now, I guess you can see if you have the, the weapon on you now, so you'll be able to, like, I think you hold up, and it should bring up your... Um, I've got... Well, when I hold up, I, it shows a pistol thing, and it's too easy stun gun. But it still wants me to do the interacting with 3D printer to buy weapons. Okay, yeah, well, now he wants you to print your RC jumper, oh. so your little, your little, um, robot car thingy. You're gonna oh, print one of those now out I can too. Move the cursor. That was weird. So did I have to equip it before it would count? I don't. I think it just glitched on you for oh. a second. I do like the unicorn and the rainbow. Yeah, I was gonna say that unicorn <laughs> looks cool with the rainbow coming out of its rear end. The magic yeah, box. 3D printers don't actually print the things fully assembled, do they? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be sweet. Okay, now. Now what? That's why it's a magic oh, no, 3D printer. That. Yep, that is pretty magical. It still says print the RC jumper in any weapon, so maybe now I actually can print a weapon? Yeah. Weapon slot 1. And here we go. So I've seen it observed that in the context of the story, it doesn't really make sense for this guy to be running around killing people. You know, but you still do have guns and you can still kill people. So would it make more right. sense if all you had was stun weapons? I guess later at the kind of the stakes raise in the game, so he gets in situations where he needs weapons. I don't, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of it doesn't make sense completely to the storyline because he's not supposed to be a bad guy, but you do wind up killing a lot of people. Yeah, he's not Batman. He can kill a few people here and there. <laughs> If you say so. No, I mean, like, he he's an activist type guy, isn't he? You know, like, I don't know. Right. Ah, interesting. And Brian says that we're doing well. Well, usually get a non lethal. Peace by any means necessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's the American way, isn't it? You'll usually get an option. Ooh. So, um, you told me that we need to get a sound bar, and I did not button. have the time, believe Good it or not, to, here, to do man. my due diligence. Can yeah, you tell us kind of about the benefits of the soundbar? Soundbox, my bad. Soundbar is a speaker. Shit that work. A yeah, sound Shiggs, box. what would we do with a soundbox? Good engineer too. Uh, a soundbox? Yeah. <laughs> I'm stream, confused. right? Isn't that what it's called? It's got skills as an artist Something to do with designer. voices. Oh, the soundboard. Okay, yeah, oh, the soundboard sound on Beam. Okay. Um, what about yeah, you? it's a soundboard, and uh, it'll it's an interactive feature on Beam where the viewers in chat can use their spark points to make sound effects happen. So you can like set up whatever sound effects you want um, on your soundboard, and there was just a big update with it recently. And uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be something something cool to kind of add, make it a little bit more fun for the viewers to interact with you also. Like, is it real obvious when they use it to you, the streamer? Yes, because whatever the sound effect is, it triggers it when they press the button, so you'll hear it on the stream. Like, you'll hear it in your, your headset. Could they just do it over and over to annoy you? You can set cooldowns, and then you can make them cost Let's different amount of points. So, like, you spend your little electricity points up there? Right, those little, those little spark points you're getting. So you can make it cost a lot of, a lot of sparks for the more annoying sounds, the longer sounds, and then you can also have the cooldown so maybe they can only do it once every five minutes so it doesn't become distracting or anything. Well, as long as you can have a cooldown. Now, Royal Bob, Shugs thinks that would help us get featured, so I would do that kind of thing to help us get featured. What does get featured mean? You know, be it... Yeah, like on the front page. There is a Far Cry Blood Dragon arcade cabinet. It's too bad it doesn't actually work. Wouldn't that be cool if it worked? Yeah, and had a game yeah, within the game. Yeah, it was just like one level of it or something. Yeah. That would be fun. So you got a lot of collectibles around here. I assume that's what the audio reports are. So what am I supposed to do? Visit yes. the follower wall, which is outside, or no? It's just that wall over there. 
see his eyes through it. Big no no when it comes to Yeah, and I know there was one in that opening the tutorial solid. part that I got the first time I played, and I didn't get it this time, I think. Right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our I wonder if you can go home. back. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app? What was the item? It's just one of those tablets that you can listen to. Nice. And oh. speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your I think everything in the world's kind of just laying where it is, so you could always go back to it. And... That would be good. The park outside, so we can test it. Sounds so, Shugs, besides Watch Dogs 2, what kind of games do you enjoy? What we're gunning for. Get enough kind of story-based games like uh, Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain and those type oh, of those games. Those are Tyler's favorites. There's a little bit of everything. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually. Not, both of those were not that bad. Beyond, I had some calls with Heavy Rain was actually pretty fun. Um, I like those more than like the Telltale games for sure. Where am I supposed to be selecting Walk in the Park from? From the map or from something else? I think the map. Right, here's the map. Oh no, all oh, your DeadSec app. Oh. So the dead, now that you have the DeadSec app, it will track all your oh, missions. Okay. So it's on uh, your phone. Right. Yeah, I think so. To track the new mission. Okay. Raise our notoriety. Track mission. Okay. How are we doing on time? So are there cops in this game? Yes, there are. I was oh. trying to see how many uh, cops I could get to chase me around Alcatraz yesterday. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait till they set a game in Salt Lake City. That'll be awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure one is coming up soon, right? You know, that wouldn't be the worst, because then you could have, like, a big Mormon temple environment. You could go in and raise a ruckus. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'd do the it. Spiritual organization so, we've got a news report is accusing Oakland just City popping up on the screen. Defamation. That's a little weird. In a recent interview, the council That's not really realistic, but I guess that'll work. <laughs> just floating yeah. around. Yeah, I mean, it's not, It's like right in the middle, too. It's not even off to the edge very well. Mission in progression. It pays to explore the San Francisco Bay Area. Restricted areas often contain money bags with lots of cash. That'd be nice. And if you discover them, then they appear on your map. Good. The counselor's private life was recently Oh, it, it looks like nudie. Medical records of the I, what I said earlier. Transgender treatments were mysteriously uh, released. <laughs> but now I know like where you got it from. Like literally exactly. It looks so much like that word. Records. Probably intentional. In statement, accused counselor Kamei of No, Darth Apache oh. Xbox One doesn't have beam abilities yet, but I would not be surprised if they came pretty soon. Not soon enough, but pretty the soon. Apps downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? <laughs> What's wrong with marrying multi marrying multiple people? That sounds like a great aspect of yeah, a video game. Yeah, that's actually a pretty fun way to spend your time. And running ops that are yeah. important to people is how we get them. Could be like a uh, persona with all those social social things, but you can like have five and six girlfriends at a time. Look for orange signals to locate side operation intel. There is a game that has part of it set in Salt Lake City, but I uh, I mean it's later in the game, so I won't talk too much more about it. So what now? Up to you, man. No. Uh, but they had a level or a game in Colorado or a whole story set in Colorado, I think. That's an unusual location. Close to, that's close to Salt Lake. Followers mean computers. In a poly triad. He's in a poly triad. Does that mean what what we're talking about? <laughs> I think that I don't think so. No, in a poly triad. That like he's in a three person relationship. Yeah, that's that, what it means. That could <laughs> okay. Talk to him. Ask him. Yes, I want to know. Talk to him. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dates? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I live well, in Utah. To hear it? What's a two year? Motherfucker, Tim just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. Yeah, you know we we have like long running teases and stuff Dude, going, and for the new collection. people, I imagine that must and be confusing at times. Probably true. Polly means just many, Paul. Faces, Thank bro. you, Perfect Zero. You know, I I hadn't realized. That. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was polygon, and I'm like, so it means a polygonal <laughs> triangle, you know? So time for what? Why are you still hanging out with these guys? Um, Gee yeah, golly. I don't like them too much. I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack of Ah, uh, Finn Forever. Is not Joe Belfiore? Or is Joe yeah, Belfiore, I guess? Is not. Uh, 
Guy's a People huge Bobo Jakes fan. <laughs> Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering so millions to keep the album to himself. Conversation stuff going here. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. So his favorite order. rapper is Bobo so Drake. What a name. I'm going to visit Bobo like the, and see if I can that's the, that's borrow the, that's some of his new tracks. Summing up the conversation. This game is pretty R-rated, huh? Content. I need you guys uh, to run is it? interviews, well, podcasts, whatever. Well, Find me some music. If you notice when the when the opening credits cool. happen, he woke up at a lady's house and then he like so you, you start the game with a walk of oh, shame. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. But Brian's right. Shorts on. Um, let's talk to this lady. Speaking of waking up at somebody's house, have has anybody here yeah, seen the movie Monsters? The it's on Netflix. Too many of the passengers are creepers, you know? It was directed no. by nope. Gareth Edwards, who directed Godzilla, the 2014 Godzilla movie. Never saw that one either. Dang, Tyler. Well... I saw the one with... <laughs> I saw the one with Matthew Broderick. Retro. Yeah, oh, so you saw the dumbest one and not the one that's actually halfway good. I see. I liked that Godzilla. Oh my goodness. That's not Godzilla. <laughs> I was also like eight years old. I took my son to see it, gotcha. and he fell asleep in the theater while we watched it. That's always stuck with me. I he was too young it. to actually, <laughs> to actually like pay attention to a movie very well. But you know, um, so do I steal a car to get over there, or do I just run over there? Like, how do you get around all the time? Uh, I steal vehicles constantly. It's it's okay. Too far to walk. <laughs> oh, this one doesn't like to open very well. There we go. Oh, that, you, <laughs> that that's what you steal <laughs> oh yeah thank you adrian torres yes gareth edwards is also the director of star wars rogue one or, or no, no, rogue one a star wars what is it a star wars story or something i forget hmm never heard of it you have you must have heard of rogue one it's coming out in december yeah i've heard of rogue one so I think you know, Adrian was saying he's trying to play non-lethal, so he's using a stun gun instead of killing people. In this very game? I believe so. We were talking about it a little Are earlier in chat. supposed to hack this guy? Hmm. Initiate download on Joker? Oh, stay within range, I think. Oh no, there's a cop right there. Get out of my face, cop. No. Can I just yeah, run over the guy? Lane. Yeah, you do. That'll right, work. <laughs> Let's try that. He's in the middle of the street. I don't know, but He's the cops are all on my butt. Escape, you've been profiled. Just do it! Dang Just it. do it! Ah. Oh, man. Yeah, we've got a real down. cluster jam here. Did I die? Uh, and you got that, you got that super <laughs> sporty fast car to get away with, too. <laughs> Hop on the surfboard. Uh. Oh, that was somebody playing online? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go the way I wanted, Dr. Sabota. Oh, oh, was that someone who jumped thing. into your game? Oh, yeah, because that's a thing you can do, and you can also turn it on or off. I turned it yeah, off. Yeah, maybe I should have for the stream, but first I'm just going to pour myself a little drink here. I thought that part was kind of cool. It was hard, though, in the first Watch Dogs. Like, I always what? lost. To other people? Yeah. Uh -oh. Retro. Like, one person, like one person would have to, like... You'd have to pick them out in a lineup, and the other person would have to avoid you and stuff. That's interesting. Um, Outlook.com up upgrades yet? What do you mean by that? Not Joe Belfiore? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is either. Outlook.com was not working for hey, me raining. the other day, but it works Maybe again. Maybe that's the upgrade is that it works. Yeah, Skype has been a bit of a headache recently. I've had a lot of Skype crashes the last couple. Weeks. We were trying to get Shugs into Skype, and now you're gonna badmouth it all, stream, dude. No, Sorry. I'm Discord. This guy's so Discord. good. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no AOL instant messenger, but it's. We use nice. Discord. We just don't use it for the stream audio. But um. Oh, it's fine. That. Yeah. Have you ever done? I hadn't logged into Skype. You go on. Sorry. Oh, you get no. I hadn't logged into Skype in so long. That's why I didn't even know that you couldn't see me on there. I was like, hey, it's been quiet. No, um, I could see you, but you were in do not disturb mode, so I wasn't sure if you would actually see my messages coming into you or not. I, I don't remember how exactly that mode works. <laughs> Yo, Adrian, what is the Skype you speak <laughs> of exactly? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, we're part of a like a Microsoft fan site, right? Or a, a community that kind of embraces Microsoft things. So 
to us it's pretty common for people to like Skype, but yeah, you get out in the real world and it's like, Skype, what's that? I like Skype. That makes sense. I know a lot of people use Slack. I've never been that impressed with Slack. Oh, well, no, I mean, like, Slack does some things that Skype sure can't do, you know, like a persistent chat. You know, Skype is not for a persistent group chat. It's for temporary group chats, really. Yeah. That's true, I guess. I like how the, the map little HUD thing behind you kind of, like, looks like your background. I was looking at that. He was pink for a while. It was cool. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Uh, so... I'm down. I'm hacking this other player again. It's, why is that even my objective? Did he just run off? He just ran off. Because it is. All right, let's back over him. Escape. Yeah, just run over him. Okay, let's, so you just can't him. let him. There we go. At least I can run. Don't kill the target. I'm killing him. Forget that. Oops. Yeah, I just finished nice. the job. You must nice. not attack the victim. Okay, let's just turn that off for a little while. I want to actually do story stuff. Uh, although we only have, what, 10 more minutes to go? Yeah, yeah. 10 minutes. Okay, um, are the cops going to come for me? Game options. I thought WhatsApp was already, like, on the way out. People use WhatsApp a lot still. I hear it mentioned in the Windows Central comments. It's funny, because I just never have bothered to learn even one thing about it. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Preferences. I use a, uh, what's it called, Snapchat a lot. It might be under multiplayer if um, if you can't find it under there. Oh, there yeah. you go. I got it. Okay. So do I just not have an objective right now because it's not showing one in the top left? You'll just go to your um, you'll pull up the phone and you'll pull up that DeadSec app and then you can choose what mission you want to keep following. And then you'll track that mission. It's a gap. Right. Yeah, there's upsides and downsides to like playing through the beginning of a game on stream that you haven't actually played before. Oh yeah, there's a lot of downsides to it. You kind of space out a lot of the important instructional tutorial messages that pop up <laughs> if you're talking yeah. about something or paying attention. And you know, to we something. always do it with co-hosts and stuff. So yes, it, it totally makes me look like a dummy sometimes. I promise I'm not this dumb in real life, everybody. I'm only 50% as dumb. By the time you get good at the game, like, you're playing another game for the first <laughs> yeah. time in the beginning, so that's, like, constantly... Yeah, but next week's stream, which is going to be Warhammer Vermintide, that game I actually am good at, and I'm very well familiar with, and Tyler is going to be joining us on stream to play. Yeah, I'm so good yeah, at it's, it. We're just going to... It's a four-player co-op game, very similar to Left 4 Dead, only better. And so we've... It has rats in yes, it. Yes, yeah, all the bad guys you fight are rat men which is different than a lot of games. It's speed. Yeah, no zombies, no vampires, no... What's the storyline there? Uh, well, it takes place in the Warhammer universe. Why will this guy not let me in? <laughs> uh, punch him. Punch him. I got him. Dude, they still won't let me in. Is, am I just... Punch him. How do you punch? Just a grazing leg. Oh, grazing leg. The grazing leg shot. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting he shot him. Sorry, they asked for it. Alright, let's see if I can... And they still, they're break. still crowded in the doorway, though. They're <laughs> they really didn't want me to get through oh, the door. Caps and blink. Very <laughs> there you go. <sighs> the body's yeah, in the door. I'm I sad. had to climb all over all that to get to my work. Oh, that's cool. Like, there's breaking news about... Let's see, that's cool. I'm glad you shot someone so we saw that breaking news thing pop up. <laughs> yeah. How do I shoot? That was neat. Uh, so what, oh yeah, like what is the story behind Warhammer Vermintide? So it's in this fantasy universe, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. And it is the end of the world, basically. The end of the world is in the process of happening. It has maybe like 50 years or 100 years to go. And there's, you know, there's prophecies and whatnot. And so like the forces of evil basically have largely overpowered the forces of good and you're holed up in this little town that is being attacked by huge armies of ratmen. So that's the concept. And you just yeah. you do missions cool. together cooperatively that will help the town out. But really I mean like they're all meant to be replayed over and over, so like there's not you can beat all the levels but you can't really win and get a good ending or anything, but it's fun. Yeah, you just keep getting new loot and more experience and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Have you ever played Left 4 Dead, Shugs? Left 4 Dead, yes. 
Well, I mean, especially with the um, mods, that one has the mods to it, right, on the uh, Steam it store. Yeah, because I think I played it once with like Teletubbies. The, the monster <laughs> zombies are Teletubbies, and that was that fun. sounds cool. Yeah, back in the day, I used to play PC games a lot more than I do now, and I was really into Left 4 Dead too for a while. I, like, I went to a message board, and a lot of the people there also played it, so you know, we played decently regularly. That was a good time. And this game, it really is inspired by, you know, it's sort of a clone, but it has a lot of things that Left 4 Dead doesn't have. So it's kind of like, well, if there had been a Left 4 Dead 3, maybe it would have some of these same improvements. This movie is my jam. He says. It sounds cool. Cyber Driver. Yeah, and uh, Tyler and who else? Icky are going to be joining us on on mic for that, playing along on stream. And I've actually played the most. I've played it the most out of everybody. So for once, I might actually be the best guy in the room at a game. Maybe the one time that ever happens, everybody. Or die. Devin yeah, that's that good. Devin. We gotta get these hackers somewhere. Devin Vaughn, Devin. Hackers, Devin. <laughs> They're just script kitties. Script kitties. Car answered. It's, this ain't your mom's stuff. smart car. I think next the time we're gonna amazing. need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber oh, and Tyler, driver. you know, oh, we had cool. plans to do Little Acre next week, and and then we moved it uh -huh. around for your schedule, right? But cool. it just yeah, I'll make sure to be around. Yeah, there. excellent. But also, Little Acre got pushed back a little you bit, so I thinking? think it comes out on the, I don't know, like the we cut our own version 15th or the 20th or something now. I forget. And oh, that kind of works so good. You should edit your post then, because it. it still says November 22nd on the post, I think. I edited it earlier today, thank you. Nav has a ton of followers. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, very good of you to point that out. To get that script. We'll look oh, wait, does it say the actual game's release date? Is that what you're saying, or just it says that the stream will be then? Yeah, no, the actual game should be oh, okay. on there. Okay, no, you've... Thank you. No, let them... No problem. And it proves I read the article, which I did. Good man. HMP Studios. Ah, this is a weird Skullhead guy talking. And this is a lot different than the first Watch Dogs, but I definitely like it more. Very stylish. Does yeah. the skull get the skull yeah. guy? Does he have a name? Over it with stylish, which is good. Wow. That skull head guy? Um, I do not know. I think it's just like a, an anonymous person talking about, you know, how the government's watching you and how companies use your data and all the horrors of uh, what can happen to a person. Goodness gracious. Runs of that TV show, uh, is it Mr. Robot? I've heard of that show, never actually caught it. What about you, Tyler? Yo! I haven't watched it today. I've heard a lot of people I'll talk about it, I do need to watch game. it. My Hulu you subscription is up in like two weeks, and I'll catch up on a bunch of other shows that aren't on Hulu, so... Didn't I'll probably right throw that in there as a show I need to catch up on. I was always more of a Lando man myself. On the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City... Is Mr. Robot a pretty cool show, Sugar Bubbles? Killer. It's pretty. It's pretty good. I just started watching it recently, actually, so I'm still um, a few episodes into the first season. But it's kind of about the same thing as this game. It's about the hacking and uh, an organization that's trying to fight against, you know, the bad corporations out there on behalf of the people. That type of so, deal. Is there an actual robot in the show? Not that oh, I know of. of not, conf the not confirmed yet. Not yeah, the robots are great. The goal is that movie well, with that robot. That was really good. Chappie. Oh god. <laughs> you meant Robocop, not Chappie. Chappie. <laughs> no, I, I meant uh, Die Antwood. No, thank you. Of all the movies that have robots in them, that one is probably the best one I've ever seen. I liked it better when it was called Short Circuit 2. People still seem shocked by in-home surveillance. You see Chappie, he's kind of a robot. Well, hey, Johnny Five from Short Circuit. About it and finding out it's worse than you feel. Actually, it's I haven't seen that. Well, well, I mean, like, they're much different, so it's not, like, super rip-off or anything, or but... Yeah. No, I know what you're saying, just the... the yeah, I've seen Johnny Five, I think that's what you called him, the robot. Yeah, yeah, movies. you really should watch him, especially part one is, is quite an 80s classic. It's not, like, non-stop brilliance or anything, but it's just a good, solid, fun movie. So cool. now, drive to HMP Studios, why not? Johnny Five is alive. Johnny Five is alive. 
Darth Apache doesn't like her outfit either. So there you go, Paul. Uh, yeah, I really just want to cut off that side of hair that's sticking out of the side of her head. No way. I like it. That's a, that's a Napoleon Dynamite girl's hair. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> is this the wrong... Oh, there it is. Okay. Do you think the chaos I caused earlier will have blown over out in the lobby? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it's fine. It'd be funny if there were just cops, I don't know, like CSIs out there investigating it. <laughs> you get shot as soon as you walk through the store. Oh. Or like, uh, I don't know, like little um, crosses that people have left in memory of the people who died or something. <laughs> yeah. Aww, just that's make it all sad. depressing. That it's pretty be. empty out there, though. They all yeah. left. That's cool. You guys thought that movie people was don't want to hang out at the place where everybody <laughs> got killed cool. anymore. To laugh at. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Did I Oops, actually say button. cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber driver is shaped up to Excuse be a me, sir. I have to commandeer your car. Catastrophe. I know you're Thank trying you. to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, uh, man. Uh, hey, dude. He just not, he just gets out nicely. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Pull me back in. Cyberize. <laughs> um, how do you punch? You can keep trying. Um, I'm not gonna lie. If those I have I had a PlayStation controller, so I don't know. Oh, you can tell me the PlayStation button, and I will know what you mean. Probably. The target dead sec is curious. There it is. Oh yeah. True. In cold blood. <laughs> well, I mean, you and me. You won't you won't get caught for that premeditated though. It was definitely a spur of the moment yeah, murder. So you probably are facing life in prison and not. Hey, it was basically self defense. He picked a fight with me. <laughs> I tried to steal his car and he <laughs> taught me that. <laughs> I had to defend myself. I think that's legal in Texas. I wonder how that, how that works. Yeah. We'll have to consult with the attorney on that yep, one. Yep. What's the circle button on the uh, Xbox? Tyler? Is that A or B? B. B. Okay. And that's punch? So that yeah. should be the punch. That should be the punch button. Yeah. Yeah, I would have thought of it after a while. Yeah, speaking of PlayStation, you know, guys, although Windows Central and particularly maybe some people above me are, like, you know, very, very Microsoft-focused, I actually like all the different game systems except for the Wii U, which is a complete joke. But... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I was fortunate enough, or I'm happy that I did, that I picked up a PlayStation 4 Pro recently, and so far I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> hey, man, he got in my way, you know what I'm saying? He was on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the sidewalk. What was he doing there? All right, just climb over the thing here. I can hear the <laughs> outrage. <laughs> and there it is. Hook motion picture. There should be a little gate. Oh, that'll work, too. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. But I could have hacked the gate, I guess. Yes. Got it. Yeah, I'm doing it the lo-fi way. Yeah, thanks, Jeno. <laughs> Uh, the reason I got it, because I know, like, the PS4 Pro, it's it benefits you more if you have a 4K TV, which I don't. And, it, you know, it's a little more expensive, etc., and not a whole lot of games actually benefit from it yet. Although a decent number, but, like, not that many. But I got it because I needed a second system. I wanted to put my old PlayStation 4, which I received as a gift from a good pal. I put that in the living room, and now I have the Pro over here in my work area, and that works for me. Good. Yeah, because, I mean, like, if you were going to buy one at all, like, you might as well buy the nicest one just so it'll last longer, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get a Slim unless you're going to be, like, a casual gamer who only maybe plays a couple few games a year or wants it for, like, streaming movies and stuff like that. Because, um, I mean, you're only looking about a $100 difference between the Pro yeah, and, and the Slim. Yeah, you get more storage space with the Pro also. The built-in yeah. hard drive is faster and better, so... Double, yeah. double the size, yeah, what yep. were you saying, Shugs? The new uh, Xbox, the Xbox Scorpio, yes. is that the name of it? So far. What is that price now? Nobody knows yet. Like, I really think they'll have a $400 uh -huh. model, and they may have an even fancier one. We'll see, like, one with a bigger hard drive or something. But I would be super surprised if they didn't have a $400 one. Yeah, it'd be risky to go any higher than that. But um, it won't be called Scorpio when it actually comes out, so it's just the... Yeah, it'll have a it'll have a worse name. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Why is oh, that? Man. Every I mean, it just seems like every not every time I hear a name announcement, it's actually worse than the code name that they give it. Uh oh. You know, like the switch. 
which is a verb. You don't like the switch? The name? I'm just beating everybody up. I don't know if I'm actually uh. supposed to be doing that. I mean, that works. <laughs> You're doing I good. Like beeped. Did you did you ask if I don't like the name yeah. switch? No, I don't like the name switch. So why not though? Because it's a verb. I think it's better than we use. Yeah, I mean, we use like the worstest. But that's that's not hard to beat. Yeah, the Xbox One is actually a really bad name too. I've gotten used to it, but I, I do still call it the bone, you know, casually. Hack to trigger non-lethal shock and cause localized blackout. Okay. Well, I thought I thought 360 was one of the best names of a console ever, and so to me, Xbox One is such a huge step back. Well, and they they were so they had so much good forethought to not because it's going to be PlayStation 3, and they knew they didn't want Xbox 2. You know, because it's just one generation lower. Casual people are going like, oh, well, why would I get a, a two when I can get a three? You know. And so they went with a different name, and I thought that was really clever. And I thought the 360 was a good name. It is hard to follow up on, though. You know, like, is there a natural idea for the next one that comes to mind? For the Scorpio? Yeah. Or I mean, no, I mean for Xbox One. Like, what? Oh, they you mean the next it. like Cold War? Yeah, they. I mean, they, the next one will have to have like a, a whole other trendy name. Like they they shot themselves in the foot with the number eight system. Locked by access key. So I wish I hadn't gotten all these people on my butt here. Uh oh. But we can see what the gun fighting is like. Sorry, lady. Ow. The Scorpio will still have. I, I think the Scorpio will still play off the Xbox One name, Xbox One Elite. Hey, cool! One of the bad guys opened the door that I needed opened anyway. I say bad guys. I'm the bad guy in this scenario, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Beating up security guards that aren't doing anything yeah. wrong. How many security guards can there work? be? I don't know, but the body count is <laughs> racking <For reals>. up. <laughs> so, There's something you want in that room, though. Um, you okay. want to go back in Ever there. You can. Here we go. Oh, he's not dead. They're still alive? Nah, they're not going to call it the Pro. The Xbox One Pro, they're not going to call it that. Uh, so there's a tablet. That must be it, eh? And they'll call Ex for reinforcements, too. They'll keep calling oh, for backup. Xbox One, awesome <laughs> sauce. Yeah, I mean, just like naming a console is not always easy. No, I'm sure it's not. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if like it if it hadn't been Don Matrix's team and it had been Phil Spencer's team, would they have called it something different? It wouldn't surprise me a bit. I'm sure because the one was supposed to be like the whole idea behind the one because it was the all-in-one entertainment system, which they've wisely died back a bit like you can still do a lot of awesome non-gaming things on the xbox one but it's not like the focus of the console which it really probably never should have been yeah i mean the xbox one is still really good for video apps and stuff still ahead of playstation 4 in that area but i mean should they have prioritized that no they shouldn't have. right so, let's hack this thing over here can i hack that doesn't look like it. The live event viewer works good for me on PlayStation. I've watched some live events on PlayStation 4 and it's worked excellently. Um, so you'll need to use your um your either your helicopter or your robot thing to get into some of the rooms to the oh, vents. Okay. So so there's like a circuit thing that opens that door and the circuit thing is like in that room, so um try to try the door on the other side. Oh yeah, I can open the other door. That works. That'll work for that one. Yeah. Xbox 4K. I could see that be the name for the Scorpio. Oh yeah. Where do you? But yeah, that's always the problem. Is well, you want to release another one a few years. Where do you go from there? It's just a new challenge every yeah. time. Yeah. Xbox yep. XP. Oh yeah, I'm sure people will love that better than Xbox Emmy anyway. But this <laughs> Xbox <laughs> Vista. <laughs> um. The Xbox, the Scorpio is still going to be just like the Pro, right? Like, it won't have any exclusives of its own. Um, it'll play all the old Xbox One games. Yes, that is the idea. Hopefully, okay. Okay. I mean, I know it's so far away, we actually don't know 100%, but... But that's what we're led to believe so far. 
so it's still like a mid-generation upgrade. Yeah, although more significant, so we'll we'll just have to see how significant it really is. I really hope they concentrate yeah, more on like 1080p, you know, better performance for that. Because still with Sony, although there is mm -hmm. some better performance for games on 1080p systems, they downplay it. Yeah, they more they're more about the graphic, the graphical improvement versus the performance. Yeah, w those donuts look good, don't they? So how do yeah, I get do. the robot to come out? Um, there's oh you don't you don't need it. There's a, there's a door in that room oh. too. You can get oh, there. Oh, is it is it Chappie the robot? Oh, you're right. That's silly of me. Chappie is a robot. Yes. What is it? Is Chappie in this? Oh. Chappie. <laughs> oh, you were hoping he would be. No, God, no. I was. Here we go. I'd rather Found Hugh Jackman emails. was in this. How about that? Mm, nice. The not so secret emails. Well, seems I got everything. What about the car? What am I doing? What's that? Hugh Jackman. He's, He's an actor. We'll have to track He's it down some other way. I'm heading out now. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. He plays that. Uh, <laughs> I've heard of him. <laughs> that, he plays that character in that yeah, movie. Yeah, in that one movie. Uh, the Luke Skywalker, right? Um, I'm thinking it was Obi Wan, actually. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Batman. Uh, he Batman. Leave the area. Okay. Yeah. I probably didn't need to shoot that person, but I will. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I know why? the other people are just standing around. They're not even scared. Why did you do this? <laughs> well, I had to clear the door. You know, people block the doors in this game. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, Royal Bob. It was really nice seeing you. Yeah, Royal Bob. I hope we can get you on mic again soon, dude. Bob is one of those people, kind of like you tonight, Sugar Bubbles, who I can trust to have played ahead in the game and just like tell me what to do. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, Bob. Hey guys, Bob's not. Found an email that says the car is being delivered right, to a location, um, Leave the area. Let's finish up this mission, and then I think That's we will okay. call it a night, everyone. I have a plan. Humans. Hey, you're already yeah. running kind of late don't anyway. Don't be dismissive of humans. <laughs> <laughs> Some <laughs> yeah, of them pretty, are okay. Pretty much, Small Eric, doses. Adrian. Um, so, Sugar Bubbles, I believe you are streaming again Monday, is it? Yes. What will you be streaming that day, do you know? Probably some more Watch Dogs. Right. You got that, everybody? Because this is probably the only time I'm going to stream Watch Dogs, so if you want to see more of it, definitely follow Sugar Bubbles, whose streams I quite enjoy. Yeah. Make sure to post or type or post your, your link to your oh, stream yeah. to get some... People yeah, here. just say hi and everybody can be sure to follow you. There she is. There you go. Sweet, mission complete! You gained more followers. Excellent. And it was really cool of you to join us on mic today. I know we haven't, like, talked a whole lot prior to the stream, so... But it was an adventure, right? And it worked out for everybody. Yes, I had fun. Thank you for having me. Good night, all Royal Bob says. And uh, again, what time of day do you start your streams generally? Um, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Eastern time. Early. Uh oh, the cops are following me. What am I even supposed to be doing right now? Just getting away from. Me? <laughs> well, you've completed the mission, so you're just kind of like free roaming right now. And how would I lose them? Probably impossible but... in the slow truck I picked. <laughs> yeah, probably not in that. Genius, truck. Paul. Jump into you... the river. <laughs> That'll be a good ending. <laughs> That's how to get away. Can I can smash it. them into the wall or something? Oh. You can use your you, so they can hack the cars if you have that ability yet. You can like make them like go backwards, forwards, left or right, and then um, oh, you can okay. also. It looks like I can't do that yet. Yeah, you probably can't do that yet. I think the one you unlocked was like the road hazard. So sometimes you'll see something in the road. Where it'll have like a interaction and you can make make an explosion happen and wreck the police officers that way and stuff. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So quite obviously, the thing I enjoy doing in sandbox type games is just causing trouble and mayhem and being mean to NPCs. <laughs> but my least favorite part of these games is the part where you have to get away from the dang cops afterwards. I don't think the trucks. <laughs> the trucks probably not helping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that truck is so slow. If I get out and try to change cars, will they shoot me? Jump in the bay. No, jump in the bay. Because of how fast you are. 
Yeah. They, have, they have sailboats too. Maybe you can get a sailboat and That'd sail away. Yeah, let's just take this guy's car. Let me get, let we me got a, we got a bunch of geographers oh, here. Go, go for it. Access to their power. Sorry. Jump, jump in the bay. Uh, yeah, they shot me dead. I did get in the other car and I was pointed away, but I got shot dead. Hey, that's a good time to wrap things up, though. Let's just. <laughs> Could have survived if you jumped in the water. Wouldn't that have been nice? <laughs> I'll take your advice next time, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sergeant Trente, I don't think that's how it worked out, but it would have been cool. Should have just jumped. Can you jump in the water? All right, let's just see, just so we can settle that bet once and for all. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh you wow! Did it. You can swim. Okay, I wasn't expecting to be able to do that. Told you. Okay. Oh, damn! That was not a nice. You were entry. right, and I was wrong. Yeah, no, it wasn't very graceful, was it? Colors are pretty though. All right, so let's. Is the contest over? Yeah, the water looks good. I like it. Yeah, the contests are all done. The reflections look good. The shadows look good. The water looks um, good. Why did that? It's good water. Work. Yo, Adrian Torres said, "What a bay, Tyler," and it got struck through. Did he delete that himself or something? Because I don't see how that could be breaking the rules. Oh well, it's not important. I didn't do it. <laughs> so guys, we've been playing Watch Dogs 2, kindly donated by Ubisoft for us to stream. And yes, I really like it so far. Definitely looking forward to seeing my new pal Sugar Bubbles play more of it on her stream. Thank you, Sugar and Tyler, for joining us on Mike tonight. No problem. Yep, happy to be Thanks here. Thanks also to Brian for running the contest. Brian's a real trooper running the contest without bot support. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you can delete your own comments. Yeah, that is nice. And yet the moderators can still see it, so we know what you've been up to. Excellent. Right. Bum, bum, Guys, bum. Uh, whether or not you won, please try to leave a positive comment on tonight's article. That always helps us. Also, don't forget to read my review of Farming Simulator 17. You know, we streamed a little bit of that. And uh, just as a small preview of the review, like, or Tyler, would you say I was a little tough on that game? A little bit. Yeah, so sometimes I'm usually pretty positive. But yeah, we gave that game a little bit of a drubbing for some of its errors, for some of its bad decisions. So please read that review so you can see what it's like when I chastise a game for being naughty. And we also reviewed a controller today, so head on, uh, hopefully, yeah, Brian has shared the links. Head to Windows Central, check those out, we love you. Follow me on Twitter, at Paul R. Acevedo. We will see you next Saturday for Warhammer Vermintide, and whatever you do, don't hate, appreciate. See ya. Bye. Now that'll hold the little SOBs and Lenny. Oh, he's not an SOB now? <laughs> oh, he's the biggest SOB. <laughs>